in detail. In other words, start right there and tell us. I know when you spoke to Buckingham, and you started with the time you met the family and all your experiences in the various places. Right, I can well understand. And so do we. But for the moment, we would just like to talk about that murder of the wealthy grocery owner and his wife. That's what Leslie told you about. And then just cover that for the moment. That'd be all right? Okay, fine. Uh, just to get you started, my understanding is that uh, in speaking with Buck Gibbons, the assistant district attorney, and with Jack Gardner, the district attorney investigator, that you related to them, that you had a conversation with Leslie Sangston? Yeah, I mean, I've heard it. Okay. Um, well, you had a conversation with her regarding this, so would you start from that and tell us regarding this grocery owner as one what transpired? Well, no one told her back at the ranch. She, well, let me just stop this. When you said a long time ago, Snake, uh, could you just say about uh, August or during September, you know, something to this effect?
conversation with uh, Leslie when you were at the Barker Ranch? She admitted some things to you at this time? Yeah. What were they? She said that, well, I kind of fell because of the first time was that Will Springs made the oil barker. That she and his father were all speaking. She and Tex were there. First, he asked after, after they killed and left. And after he did, because he did most of the things. Who's saying this? Leslie is saying to you that he that while they were killing the people, she was wiping off all the fingers. After she wiped, then after that, she wiped off all the fingers. Did she state what people they were killing? Did she no, identify the people anyway? I can't recall it more exactly. To the best that you remember. I think she said LaBianca. LaBianca's okay. Uh, she stated that she was present during the killing? Because they didn't wipe off. She wasn't, well, wasn't with them at the table. I see. So that she was there uh, during the LaBianca killings and just to get a back my head was wiping off while... She told me she wiped off. They wiped off. She 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 wiped off. Was she told to do this? By who? Text told her to wipe them off. Did she want to go along or did she stay at home? She ever went along to the LaBianca house? While they were there, did she take anything about that? Did they, she took some, they took some money and they, and they gave some food. They took some money. She stayed how much or where the money came from? Did she stay? It's a bunch of change. Bunch of change? Did she stay where this murder took place? It was near any place? stab anybody? How did she say that? Well, I don't remember if it was a man or a woman that she said that, that he asked her to go ahead and stab him anyway. Who was he? Tex. Tex asked her. After they were dead, just so that she could, it wouldn't make her stomach cool to do it, you know, when they were all high. Did she feel a little upset while she was there? Did you mention she mm -hmm. was? She said she got used to it. Well, she she was used to it. Was How many times did she stab these people? A lot. Did she stab them? Seven? Seven. 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 Seven.
This is Leslie talking now.
did you say anything about uh, the way that people acted or what they said when they first went in the house and got a hold of them? Or did she tell you how she got in the house? She was, I don't know. Did she say that they were asleep? Mm -hmm.
plastic bag inside the purse? I don't know. She just walked in, stuck in her hand, and she threw it in the fireplace. And then we didn't know where it was burned because it wasn't a fire. I don't know if she counted it first or if she built the fire first. But it looked like, to me, even then, it flashed. It reminded me of a, a, an anchor rope. An anchor rope? Yeah, like from the bubble bath. What's an anchor rope? It's round. It's about this thick. Like, you can read it in the books about, you know, pirates and stuff like that. So they show you the pictures. So it's brown looking rope. Rough. The coral is about an inch. In diameter? Yeah, and the coral that goes around it, like, so like a blade in one. And we only use two units. Each, they're like two, two, bait, two fingers. And each one is composed of a whole bunch of hemp. And they twirl it around each other. And each one looks to be about an inch. Half an inch and they're both put together. So then when they're both put together, how fat are they? The distance around. Um, By your finger, they take it up about an inch and a half. Yeah, about an inch and a half. An inch and a half. Have you ever seen that kind of rope before? <laughs> around the ranch or anything? Did Leslie say anything to you about maybe her clothes getting bloody or dirty from this? Yeah, she burned those too. She burned what? Her clothes. So she burned some clothes. What led up to this burning of the clothes? What led up to it? Well, let me speak. Did she say I dirtied my clothes and therefore I burned them? Or? I don't know. She didn't burn them. What color were the clothes? I think there was some blue shoes. Some clothes. Were they blue? When did she burn those? Same time. By that, she mean the time she burned the purse? Well, I figured she read the credit card because, you know, it was hot or something. Good reason. Did she describe the house these people lived in at the outside of it at all? Everything we discussed with what Leslie told you. Did Tex tell you anything? He might have been a little bit. Never mentioned that. That was a lot of the anger. Did she say that she might have lost or left anything up there at the lobby? Can you remember what day this was? 
Jack Jones or something? No. Are you skinny or fat or anything like that? No. Yeah. She's saying anything about what kind of business this man or lady might have been in? No.
and you, once you go in the house, there's a couple of doors, and there's lead out this big court, and there's a little ark, and there's a big bird house, and, and the whole backyard span opens up over, if you look out there, you can see the freeway, you see the whole city. Anything on the walls of the house is There's a picture of a bomb in the front room.
That's what I think we ought to do, Mike. Everything we talked about right now uh, would be too much for him to type out. And a lot of it we discussed uh, isn't really, uh, uh, should we say, absolutely necessary. <laughs> uh, as far as the typing goes, the other stuff we talk about isn't so important that we have to type it in other words when I'm getting at. So, uh, tell you what I think we ought to do, and I think. I was just explaining to Diana, uh, what we have here is quite a bit, Mike, uh, too much for him to type. Uh, I think Diane uh, knows now what we want, or what information we like. So why don't we have her go through it, just the things that we're concerned with, and I'm sure we'll cut that down to a third or to a quarter of what we have. And then that's what we'll have uh, my friend type out here, and uh, you can read over. Okay? Uh, I'll tell you how it'll probably be the easiest. Uh, why don't we start, Diane? Tell us your own words. The day that Leslie came back to the ranch, number one. Remembering times and dates are the best you can, or relating it to something that was after Bobby was arrested and before the raid. These are dates that we can find out, that's no problem. Uh, start when she came back to the ranch that early morning, or right before sunrise. Uh, stayed around a little while. Then this man in the pink car came up, and she said, That's the man that gave me a ride from Griffith Park. That story. And then, upon the conclusion of that, conversation you had with her up at the Barker Ranch Willow Springs area, uh, namely uh, that she was present during La Bianca killings, that she wiped off the place, that uh, she was afraid, but after stabbing the, either the man or woman many times, uh, she felt all right, uh, that they ate something there, that they took some chocolate milk with them when they left, uh, that this occurred near a park. To that effect, that was the Willow Springs Parker Ranch. Oh, let me jump back. Also, the burning of the purse and the rope and the credit cards and about the money just took place at the ranch. Did I leave out anything? You mentioned the hitchhiker in the back of the car. Yeah, the man in the car, of course. But that'll come. She can tell at the park the park right? that'll be in the morning time and then again she tells or rather she tells you about coming in the morning and then about the hitchhiking when the man shows up later the same morning. Anything else you remember that no. What do you want to start with? Okay. Uh, let's start it from when Leslie came to the ranch uh, that morning which was sometime between the time Bobby Boussoulet was arrested and before the raid, which was on August the 16th. Okay. Okay? Uh, let's start there. Leslie came in. Okay, that's Leslie Sangston. Leslie Sangston. Is Leslie Van here? Van here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Came in about dawn. Uh, the Spongebob Ranch sometime after Bobby Bosley's incarceration. Change. 
and then she went to sleep. Then a man in a pink car came up to the ranch and cut the wire. At that time, she hid under the blankets and said not to let him see her, for he was the one that had given her the ride from Rufus Park that morning. He's also, he's a friend of Frank's.
about four feet of brown hand rope, about an inch and a half diameter, and a plastic bag.
show you what the sling is all about? It could have been that, because I don't remember her being with the... Okay, so would, would it be safe, safe to say that then it was sometime the latter part of September? To encompass the last 15 days of September? To the end of September? of September, the first few days of October. Leslie told you those variety of things about the kill, Bobby on the kill. Right? Okay, so why don't we start from there now? Do you want to explain what the thought went was? Yeah, yeah. Explain about what it was and then what she told you. What is the thing about? She wasn't involved in the thing. She told me that she was instructed to wipe off all the fingerprints off of everything. And she did so. And told me that she wiped them off as soon as they had been touched. She was afraid that later, as she continued stabbing, 
She's opening down here because they don't come back again. Yeah, she's there to write it down.
Thank you. 
out if you're going through this routine and do the whole thing and dismiss the battalion. They had it all went off in their own way and here comes the officer and they're out standing around looking like, around. He's getting out of the fog and he's getting cat calls back from the fog. Just one thing for second my mind with I Leslie I've talked about a number of times. It's basically I mean, the same thing. Yes. What she said. She was you know, like I heard her once in the song that she wiped up all the things things that, that they never even, like they repeated it all the time to make sure that nobody know about it. September to about October the 3rd, or about the last 15 days of September to October. It had to be the last seven because okay. there was a Serene Ballad in the 18th. So about the last seven days. Yeah, it's like say, say you want to just pull this part of the way she was like. Well, no. 
do just to make sure. Uh, I'm going to sign it here. I'll have my partner sign it there, and you can sign it here. How's that? Okay. Every time George Spawn 